All right, everyone. Welcome to our. What is the name of this painting, Dane? This is Chickadee on Chickadee Pine. on Pine. Yeah. Chickadee on Pine. Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Len, uh, one of the one of the team members here at East Coast Art Party, uh, and uh, I'd like to welcome you into our uh, live, free, online, virtual paint class this evening. Uh, I can't paint with a lick, uh, so it will be Damon doing the uh, painting for you. Um, and uh, so far, he's had good reviews for some reason, so uh, I think you're in good hands there. <laughs> it's just um, the costumes. Could be the costumes, yeah, it could be the costumes. Anyhow, so uh, we're, we've got a little bit of a different kind of setup with the, with the camera right here. We've got the close-up here, uh, and we've got the, just because it's kind of a little bit longer, it's a little bit more awkward, and we've got the, what you're going to be painting there. We like to have a couple reference paintings so that people know sort of what, um, what, may, what we're supposed to be going for. Um, or close, anyway. Um, one thing I will notice about tonight's, or you will notice about tonight's event, is that he's got a canvas up here and he's got the board. Um, we know that, that some people are doing this on canvas, so it's a little different because, as you can tell from this, there's no background to the uh, uh, to the bird uh, to the to the canvas on the on the pine. So we're going to do something a little bit different because if it was just white on white, it would kind of blend in and not look like much of it. Anyway. So, uh, with that being said, a little note about the stream itself. Um, Facebook's great, you can pause, you can rewind, you can start over, you can watch it afterwards. We put them all up on our videos page. Uh, I think we're up to about 24, 25 different videos or projects to try, so um, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of uh, pro different projects to do to keep you busy during our little self-isolation period here. Um, as far as equipment goes, um, we are using, what, four different colors? That it depends. The pine is only two colors. Okay, the pine canvas, is just black and white. Canvas, you can be using a couple more. I'll explain that. Okay, perfect. So, anyway, you need paint. Um, for the pine one that's here, you just need the black and white. And as always, we're going to use uh, three different brushes. We've got a large brush, a medium brush, and a small brush. Uh, we've got some water just to rinse off the brushes and clean them off and a couple plates for mixing and some napkins in case things get messy or to dry off your uh, dry off your brush um, and uh, I think that's pretty much it um, getting a little quicker at this thankfully um, again uh, uh, big thanks to all our health workers and uh, essential services folks out there that are just killing it and, and doing a great job um, making sure that we're all safe give a shout out to them and uh, without further ado, I'm going to bring in Ranger Damon uh, in to do the uh, to do to, to guide you through your painting. Enjoy, folks. <laughs> Ranger Damon, I'm like Ranger, Ranger, <laughs> Ranger, Ranger Damon here. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go spot us some birds. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like Len was saying, we got a piece of pine here, which we're not going to be painting a background on. Now, you can. If you like, um, I'm going to leave mine just as the pine, and I'm just going to paint on that. But, like I said, some people want to do this on canvas, on cardboard, on paper, on anything at all. I'm going to show you another way to do it, so I'm going to do it on canvas at the same time. Just make sure that doesn't fall anywhere. That's going to fall. Hold on. Quick technical fix, and we're good. So we got to come up with a background for the one that's on canvas. Right? We don't want to see white trees on a white canvas. Kind of not really exciting. So I'm going to do something with mine. It's a little bit of blue and white. It's kind of like this painting right behind me, which is, yes, another chickadee, where it's got some blue streaked in with some white. I'm going to do something like that for my canvas one. Now you can change those colors. It doesn't have to be the exact same. This is just showing you another way to do it. And when we're going to paint this background, we're going to do long brush strokes and nice and thin. All right, so small amounts of paint. So we want that to dry, and then we can all get going on our birch trees. All right, so if you're doing a piece of wood right now, and you're waiting for me while I'm doing this one, just go pour yourself another coffee, grab a drink, take a little break. We're in no rush right now. So I'm going to start with this canvas one. And I'm going to do mine with some blue and white. We're going to be doing some blending. So with our large brush, we're going to start off with just some blue. We're going to start off with nice long streaks at the top of our canvas. Make 
making sure to paint those edges as well. You gotta paint the sides and the edges of your canvas. Really spread that paint out. Once I've got some blue up there, with blue still on my brush, we're gonna start picking up little bits of white. So I've still got some blue on my brush. I'm gonna start picking up little bits of white. And we're gonna start streaking that together, little bits at a time. We want it nice and streaky. Well, I do for this one, because I want it to kind of be like a little, little hint of a sky. Maybe there's something in the background there. There's no wrong way to do this. It's all unique to whatever you want. This is just showing you that it doesn't have to be on a piece of wood. I'm just gonna keep picking up some white, just so we have a base color on there. And really spread that paint out. We don't want any big clumps. We want that to dry. It's like we're painting a happy little sky. And put on some cute little birds. Make sure that paint's spread out nice and thin. And you know what? I think I'm okay with that. But again, you can do whatever you like. Make sure you paint the sides and the top. We need that to dry. We need that to dry. So I'm going to fan it for just a minute here, and then I'm going to start work on this pine one while I let mine dry. We're going to move up there because it's the same steps from here on out. It's just two different sizes. Let's give that a little fan. Ranger Damon says, I think it's time for a uh, trivia question. I'm on it. Let's do it. I'm on it. All right. First trivia question. People over 40 are more likely to have one of these in their home versus people under the age of 40. I mean, that could be a broad amount, but people mm. over 40 are more likely to have this item in their homes as opposed to people under 40. Hmm. That's a tricky one. That could be so many things. Should I do another trivia? Like, just uh, this will be a double one. All right. So that's the first question. So you know, put one, and then the answer, and then two, and then your answer to the following question. Eighty-five percent of of us, of all people, love the smell of this. The rest of us think it stinks. One hundred percent of us. <laughs> All right, so that's the first, the second question. To repeat, 85% of us love the smell of this. The rest think it stinks. Hmm. 
That's some good trivia. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I like it. That's we're gonna get some good guesses on that one. I think drop we are. that in the comments, guys. Let's uh, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. We should get some interesting comments. We should answers. I should say. Uh, very good. Very good. All right. It's not farts. <laughs> it's not farts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, you do you. <laughs> no judgment. All right, I'm just going to let this top one finish drying on its own now. I fanned it for a little bit. And I'm going to go down to our pine board. All right. We're going to put in all of our trees, just the tree trunks. And we're going to do this in white with our medium brush, and it will take two coats be the same up here but I'll explain it again when I move up there. We're gonna start off with skinny trees and then we're gonna make them wider. It's gonna be a thin coat. So we're gonna start here on the left hand side and work our way across. By the time we get across we'll come back to the start and do our second coat because the wood it's gonna help that paint dry with that first coat. It really it sucks it up on that first coat. So medium brush and white starting on this left hand side one other thing before I start is everybody's piece of wood or canvas is going to be a different size so your trees might need to be a little bit skinnier than mine or a little bit wider it depends how big a piece of wood you're working with so let's start here Just a little reference look there there we go One little brush stroke. And you'll see with that one little brush stroke how the wood soaks up the paint on that first one. That is a sad looking tree. <laughs> Let's make him happy. So we got our one little brush stroke on there. We're just gonna go ahead and start making that one brush stroke wider and wider. Still, which is a thin coat of paint. We don't want any big clumps of it. We want to spread it out. Till we get a good tree. Just take your time. There we go, there's one, one happy little tree. Now, we gotta do another. Cause every tree needs a friend. Every tree needs a friend. <laughs> this one we're gonna put on a little angle the other way. Trees don't grow straight. They grow whoever makes them happy. You're weird. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> That's okay. I think Rob Boss might be making another appearance later in the week. I like it. We'll see. He's uh, he's pretty excited to come back. He was a little soft-spoken last time. Told him to get a little louder this time. So keep your eyes open for Rob Boss. So we got our two two trees in, two trees. There we go. Now I'm going to leave a little space in between our second tree and our next one. He's going to be a little skinnier. I'm going to leave a little space because that's where we're going to put one of these cute little chickens.
tree. They're all different widths. You can put them on different angles. As long as they're happy. I didn't think Rob Boss was back until later this week. Oh, sorry. Yeah, a lot, sorry. Of, a lot of happiness going on. Well, I'm just a happy ranger. Yeah, that's true. Right? So, I mean, come on. Ranger day. Ranger, ranger. <laughs> uh, there we go. Now I'm going to leave another little space for another one of those chickadees. One more tree here on the end. This guy's got a nice big angle on him. So in total, I have six trees. It doesn't matter how many you have. You got six, seven, 24, whatever you want. As long as we have a spot to put our birds. Once you get to the end, we can go back to the start, it should be dry enough now, to do a second thin coat on all of your trees. So I'm going to quickly do this second coat and then we're going to do the same thing on our canvas. Where we start with skinny little lines, start making that thicker and thicker. coat and then two same way How about them trivia questions all right so the answer to the trivia questions the let me bring it up here So do you, I'm going to start the first one I have up here first. The 85% uh, of us, this is the second trivia question answer, 85% of us uh, think this smells great, and then uh, the other 15 thinks it stinks. Did you have a guess for this, Damon? Uh, I'm going to say something weird like cinnamon. No. Um, it is the ocean. All right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, it's it's depending on oceans. I've been on both sides, and the ocean over here smells different than the ocean over there. And now I'm trying to remember what was the first question I asked. I'm trying uh, to remember. People people over forty have this in their home. Oh yeah. Oh. Sorry. Thank you. Jeez, I, I gotta write these down. Anyway, uh, are you over forty? <laughs> I I am. And uh, so, people over forty have one of these in their home. Oh, I can, I can take a guess for this. People under 40 generally don't. Is it a VCR? It's close. Oh. It's not a VCR. It is a phone book. A phone book? A phone book. They still make phone books? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They, yeah. Waste of paper as far as I'm concerned, but anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. There we go. So I just did a quick second coat on all of those trees. Now I'm going to let mine dry, if you're done those you can take a little break, and I'm going to put them in on the canvas one. And it's going to be done the same way, but you can see that my canvas is shorter than my piece of wood, so that just means I need to make my trees a little bit skinnier. But it's the same thing where we start off with just a little line of white. 
make that a little bit thicker and a little bit thicker. Making sure to just have a skinny coat, or sorry, a thin coat. Skinny coat. A little flustered. <laughs> no, not you. Not me, no, no. no. You don't get flustered. Oh, no. Angle trees, then we're going to leave a little gap. Put the bird in there. more little trees. We'll leave another gap. my final two trees. Now, because I did that on the canvas quickly, I'm actually going to fan it for a minute before I do my second coat. Because you always need your paint to be dry before your second coat. What colors did we choose for our background? Anybody doing this on canvas that chose uh, different colors for all that? Love to see it. going to do that second coat uh, for the trees on my canvas. If you've already done all of that, even if you did the pine or the canvas, just take a little break. Relax. It's Tuesday, right? It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday evening. You got nowhere to be. Smokey the Bear with that hat. <laughs> Smokey the Bear. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Only you can prevent forest fires, Ranger Damon. <laughs> uh, what was the name of the ranger from uh, Howdy Doody? I was going to say Yogi. From. It was Yogi Bear, Boo Boo, oh, Do, uh, Dandy, ranger. Dudley Do Right. Dudley Do Right? Maybe. Was that his name? Well, oh, it sounds right. I'll look it up. All right. I'll look it up. I'm sure in the comments they'll probably tell us. Yeah, you <laughs> probably know. 
What's Howdy Doody? Howdy Doody? I think that's a really old... Stop like, aging yourself, Lynn. Yeah, I, listen, I never listened to... I never watched Howdy Doody, but uh, I just know that name. Howdy Doody. <laughs> I can pull off a ranger though. You know, ranger Damon. Only you can prevent the spread of COVID-19. <laughs> Wash your hands. Wash your hands. I'm just doing the second coat of white on the trees on my canvas. I already got the second coat on the wood one. But this is good. I'm doing two paintings. So if I'm moving a little too fast, you know that you have time because I got to repeat the steps. No rush, no rush. Oh, so I'm going to let my canvas one dry as I jump down to the pine board. First thing we need to do with the pine board one is we need to make some grain. So whenever you're mixing colors, I always like to tell people to start with your lighter color first. So you're starting with white. I'm going to take a fair amount of this over here so I have enough for both the paintings. We're starting with white. And then you're adding tiny little pinpricks of black at a time. Because you can always add more black. Really hard to take it away, especially when you're making gray. You're a poet right. and didn't know it. Uh, that was wicked. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So, little bits of black at a time until we get some gray. Whenever you have some gray mixed up, always wipe off your brush, just on some paper towel or whatnot. Just to get all the excess off of it. And then, we're going to move back to our trees, but we're going to double brush it. We're going to use our large brush and our medium brush. Okay. Large brush is going to be for white. Medium brush is going to be for gray. So we're going to work one tree at a time. And with that large brush for our white, we're going to paint in one tree, yes with white again, because I want that white to be a little bit wet so we can blend. So I 
painted that quickly with just a little bit of white. One tree at a time. And we're going to go to our medium brush, which is our gray brush. We're going to take up a little bit of gray. And on this left hand side, we're going to start lightly blending in some gray. So my brush strokes are going across the tree. So it's not really up and down. It's going across the tree to give it, give it some texture, some depth. See how it's not just a streak of gray? That's because our white was wet and we're just lightly putting on some gray. They're kind of blending together. Lots of texture. And we're going to keep this on the left hand side of these trees. It's all different lengths, they don't all end at the same spot. That's one tree. Do the exact same thing over and over again. Large brush is our white brush. Thin, quick coat on this tree. Then we take our gray brush, blend in a little bit of gray on the left hand side. Let's give that tree a little character. Did we figure out what that ranger's name was? Not yet, no. Was it, was it Ranger? It wasn't Ranger Dan, was it? I don't know. We haven't checked the comments. It's gotta be in there. Take your time with this. We're doing the same thing to each tree. And then I have to do the same thing to the canvas trees. So you've got time. Again, it's using your white brush first. Taking your gray brush, blending in some gray on the left.
Whoop. I just put the wrong color on the wrong brush. <laughs> That's all right. We can fix that. We can fix that. Things were going a little too smooth for us tonight. <laughs> I'll fix it up. There you go. You never would have known it if I didn't tell you. All right. Next two uh, trivia questions coming up. Um, that's right. We're doing two. First question is... The average person said they were 16 years old the first time they experienced this. Don't look at me like that, Damon. It's I, not what you I'm think, not, and it's not no. what everybody in the well, online thinks either. That's, uh, that's not where my mind went. I think it is. I am a good, wholesome person, Lynn. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Hey, I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. Uh, yeah, so the average person said they were 16 the first time they experienced this. Should get some interesting um, comments here. Should get something. And the next question I'm going to go with is 72% um, of drivers will have this happen to them today. Today? Today. But they shouldn't be out driving. Oh, uh, that's true. Okay, yeah, no. Well, I mean, driving's fine. It's just you don't go near anybody. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay. But... Uh, 72% of people, uh, sorry, of drivers will have this happen to them today. So, I mean, on any given day is a better way of putting it. Yeah. Let's see what the awesome answers for that one will be. set of trees done for me. That's a lot of trees. That's a lot of trees. We're gonna do the same thing with the canvas ones. You guys might already be done that. If you are, that's great. There's no rush. Because I need time to get caught up. <laughs> Say get caught up or get coffee. Both. Always need coffee. And you know where there's some good coffee, Len? Robbins. Country style coffee. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shoot. same thing with these ones. Using my white brush to paint the tree with a thin coat of white. While that white is still wet, we're taking our gray brush and we're blending some gray into the left hand side. Nice and simple.
the answers to that trivia question. We've had uh, a lot of good guesses. Uh, so the per first question was the average person said they were 16 the first time they experienced their first cup of coffee. Their first cup of coffee. Yeah, speaking of huh. coffee. And then our uh, the other one, 72% of drivers will have this happen to them on any given day. Do you have a guess for this one? Uh, I don't know, get cut off. Yeah, pretty close. Tailgate. Somebody tailgate. will tailgate them. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah. So. No tailgating, guys. Nope. Stand back, take a look. Not bad. Not bad. Tweak this one a little bit. My breast strokes just started to get all the exact same. Switch it up. There we go. A couple little tweaks. And I'm happy with it. That will work for me. Okay. Let me just change my brushes here. People digging the trivia, so let's give them another something to think about. Oh, here. just firing it all off. All yeah, right. I will. I like it. Okay. Uh, so, 25% of us have been annoyed with a neighbor who does this. Annoyed with a neighbor who does this. I don't know, I, my neighbors are awesome. As are mine, as are mine. Very lucky with my they, neighbors. They don't do anything, they're, they're wicked. Yeah. I don't know, they don't know any, so I'm not too sure. All right, well, you gotta think inside the box then. I don't know, I don't know. All right, well, you guys are pondering that. We're gonna go ahead and start work on some branches. Now we're going to do our two important branches first, because these are the only two that actually matter. The rest of them can be kind of anywhere. I'm going to, you know, use our picture here as a reference for where I'm going to put mine, but they can be anywhere. The only two that really matter are the ones that the birds are sitting on. So we just want to make sure that those are a little bit lower and that they're crossing over in our gap. Then we have somewhere to put our birds. Then we'll put the rest of them. So we're gonna do these, all the branches, with our little brush and white. As soon as we get all those branches done, we're gonna take that little brush, we're not gonna clean it, we're gonna take some gray, and we're just gonna accent those branches. Okay? So a couple of tips with your little brush and white or anything with your little brush, is hold it close to the tip, so hold it close to the bristles. You have more control over it that way. Also, the lighter you press it against your canvas or wood, the skinnier the line will be. So if you just put it on there and go really quick, it's gonna be a pretty thick line. But if you start slow and just gently, you'll get there. You'll get the branch, okay? 
I'm gonna put two where birds are on first. We're going to cross over some of these trees. Going to add a few more little branches to them. Might be hard to see right now, but I did cross over this tree. Once I get some gray, gray on there, it'll show up a little bit better. There's one branch. Let's start our next one over here. And then we're going to add some more branches around that coming off the trees. As long as we leave room for where those cute little birds are going to go. Put a nice long one over here. This one's coming from the edge of the board. You can put them kind of wherever you like. Just small brush and white. I'm going to put the branches on my canvas one before I accent these ones with that gray. And then one other thing you're going to need, just so you know now, is you will need a pencil or a piece of chalk, pencil crayon, regular crayon, just something to draw with because we do have to draw for the birds. Now I broke it down into basic shapes for you, so don't worry about that right now. Just make sure you have something to draw with in a little bit, in a few minutes here. Again, with this canvas one, I'm starting with those two branches that the birds are sitting on, just to make sure I have them in place, and then adding branches around where that's going to go, where the birds are going to go. question answer. Ah, uh, yes, yes. The neighbors. 
the neighbors. Again, I love my neighbors, so if you're watching, you guys rock. Uh, but 25% of us have been annoyed with a neighbor who does this, plays an instrument. Ah. Uh, Makes sense. Makes sense. If, it does. Uh, it does. I'm thinking the only thing you'd really hear would be the drums, but anyway, that's 25% yeah. uh, of us have been annoyed with a neighbor who does this. Depends how loud you get. Yeah. Back when I played the saxophone, I, uh, I jam out pretty hard. Pretty loud. <laughs> Damon on the sax. That's a true story. Really? Yes, dude. I was in a jazz band for like three years, man. I feel like there's definitely another costume coming up that's going <laughs> to include a saxophone. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I'm going to, this is a good question. And um, depending on our audience, the next one that we have here. 20 years ago, every adult knew how to do this. Now, only about 75% of us know how. Ooh, I have a good guess. Sure. Is it drive manual? Well, I'm not going to give the answer right now. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm not going to give the answer true. right now. That's my guess. That's a great guess. That's a great guess. I like it. Uh, let's see what everybody else is guessing. And, guys, I don't know the answers to these. These I are know. my actual guesses. Yeah. I'm sorry if I give any of them away. I think that's a good one. We'll just see. So with that small brush, I'm just going over some of these branches with little highlights, excuse me, little highlights of gray. Same thing to the canvas one. Or is it parallel park? That's my other guess. <laughs> Nobody can parallel park. <laughs> I can like a champ. <laughs> you have a Tesla. You push a button and it does it itself. That's erroneous. That is not correct. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay for that upgrade. All right, there we go. There's our great highlights on all of the branches that we did. Looking good, looking good, but you can see how they look different because of the pine and the canvas. But they're still going to look awesome. Still going to be a good painting. That's why it doesn't matter what you paint on, as long as you're painting and having fun. That's what counts. And we're going to take a little break, let that dry for a minute before we get to any drying.
Ranger Damon coming back <laughs> at you. <laughs> so we need our pencil or a chalk or something that we can draw a little bit on or draw a little bit with. We gotta go ahead and put in our birds. Now, whenever you're doing animals or anything, you can always break it down to its most basic shapes. And that's generally just circles, ovals, that kind of thing. So I did that with these two birds. There's the bird on the left and the bird on the right. So the basic shapes for those two birds are right here. The bird on the left, you can see his body is a nice big oval. Now, I, I made these larger, so you make them whatever size fits on your branch. You know, I don't think you want this big guy taking up half your uh, paint. Maybe you do, maybe you do. I don't know. So we're going to start with a nice big oval for his body. On top of that oval, there is like a circle for his head. And then two triangles. So we got a nice big oval for the body circle for the head and two triangles one for his nose and a nice long one for the tail so when you're drawing go lightly press lightly with your pencil you don't need it too dark also instead of putting your pencil on and trying to draw an oval in just one fluid motion you can do little streaks the same way it's just short little lines Curving it around till we get the oval, the circle, and those two triangles. The right hand bird, very similar, but he's a bit of a different shape. You can do him the same if you like, but this guy's a little bit of a different shape. Instead of a big oval for his body, he's got a big circle. He's been eating a few more berries. He's been getting into, those, getting into those quarantine snacks. <laughs> we all ate a few more berries than we should. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I think I made it to like day three before I ran out of snacks. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> and I had to go get more. <laughs> so a big circle for the body. And his head is a little bit more of an oval. But then also two triangles. One for his beak and a nice long one for his tail. I'm going to leave that up for just a minute. Because we're going to take these basic sh sh ah, shapes. These basic shapes. Sorry, a little flustered tonight. <laughs> uh, we're going to take these basic shapes one step further. So just get those on there first. All right, that's long enough. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, when I flip this over to show you the second, where we're gonna take this, the second step, uh, we'll leave that up for a bit longer than, than just 10 seconds. So we have our basic shapes. We take them one step further. So again, I've got my left side bird and I've got my right side bird. The red lines that I have here, those are all the pencil lines that we first put in. So that's our basic shapes. That red line would be our basic shape. The oval, the circle, and the triangle, and the tail. So we took those basic shapes and we curved them all together so that they meet up and we get our bird shape. Pretty neat, eh? I like doing it that way. It's pretty cool to see those things come together. And then it's the same with our right hand bird. The red lines are the basic shapes. So there was a big circle here, a little oval for his head, and his two triangles. But then we're putting them together. We're adding some curves, taking our basic shape, making it into a bird. So I'm just going to pop mine down for a second. Both my canvas and my piece of wood so that I can go draw these and I can stand out of the way while you guys are finishing that.
All right, how are we doing? How do we all make out with those basic shapes? Pretty good? Not bad? I'm gonna take that down. Again, if that wasn't long enough for you, that's fine. Because you can always pause and rewind and you can come back, keep going from there. You know, everybody works at a different pace. No worries. So we're going to go with our medium brush. Medium, or, or we can use our medium and small because we're going to be painting in these birds. So if you feel more comfortable with your small brush, like in the little tail areas or in the little beak areas, you can use that. And again, same way we did the trees. You're going to do a thin coat of white. We're going to let it dry for a minute. And then you're going to do a second thin coat of white. And we're going to move on to something else and we'll come back to those birds after. about that trivia there, Len? Yeah. Working on it, working on it, working on it. There is my... Loading, loading, loading. Exactly. All right. So, uh, 20 years ago, every adult knew how to do this. Now only about 75% of us know how. It is write a check. Ah. Write a check. Okay, here's another interesting one. Of the homes that have one of these, 80% of them have safety issues. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Kids. <laughs> yeah, 100% of them have safety issues. After yeah. quarantine for a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so thin coat of white on the birds. Wait a minute, or fan it, yeah, and then the thin air. second coat on the birds. Yeah. Then we're going to let them dry while we move back to our trees. that to be a thin coat painting in your bird Then you can give that one minute to dry, or you can fan it for a second. We want to do a thin second coat before we get back at our birch trees.
developed in second coat. Give you just a minute to finish that. But then we're going to go right back to our tree. trees. We're going to let our birds dry. Moving back to our trees, we'll do one at a time again. It's going to be with our little tiny brush and little bits of black. So remember what I said about the branches when we we're using our tiny brush? Hold your paintbrush close to the bristles. You have more control over it that way. And the lighter you press, the skinnier your line will be. So take your time and just barely brush it against your canvas, your piece of wood, whatever you like. When it comes to black, the other thing that helps the black really flow is if you wet the bristles of your brush in a little bit of water before picking up a little bit of paint. So I'm just gonna add a little couple of drops of water into my cup so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Just so I've got a little water that I can dip my brush into, pick up a little bit of black, holding the paintbrush close to the bristles, one tree at a time. We're going to add a few little rough accents on the side, so this is still the left side. And then we're going to add a few going across our tree. Now these are all different lengths, different sizes. We're keeping them a little bit to the left, like the left and the middle, but they're really random brush strokes. All right? As long as they're all just going across our tree, that's what we're looking for. I'll put a few on here. So nice and light, a little bit of water and black paint. There's a few on that side. And then different lengths, different widths, going through our tree. Keep them kind of to the left. The left and the center. But they are nice and random. little accents of black make our birch tree stand out about that trivia there? That was a good question. I'm still, I'm pondering it. I still think the answer's kids. Of the homes that have one of these, 80% of them have safety issues. I'll give you a hint that uh, they like to hang out there in the summer. I think that gave it away. Totally. What is it? It's a pool. Wrong. What? Wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wrong. You're not right. That's not the answer. How many people thought pool? How many people are with me? Like, come on. That could be until you get the right answer, and then you'll be like, oh, that makes sense. Hmm. 80% of them have safety issues. It's not a pool. It is not a pool. You gotta have another guess after that. 
I, I, I'm, I'm like stunned. Uh, yeah, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> you like to hang out there in the summer. I'm I'm stuck, guys. I'm stuck. I got nothing. Surprise me, David. Well, I don't go anywhere. I go to the beach, but like, I don't have a beach at home. What goes around the pool? A deck. Yeah. Are you hey, serious? That's the answer. And don't say it's the same as a pool, because uh, it certainly is not. No, no. I got a deck. I don't got a pool. Yeah, I got a deck. I don't have a pool. Exactly. The answer is deck. Uh, I should have. I should have got. I failed you guys. I should have got that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried. So we're just taking this one tree at a time. Take your time with it. We're gonna add a few little black accents to the branches as well. But you guys have time. I still have my other one to do. I'm still in awe of that trivia question. Stumped me. Stumped me. Gotcha. That's good. Definitely. Definitely. So again, just make sure you have a little bit of water on your brush and a little bit of black paint just to help it flow. Lots of little tiny lines. Same with these trees before I accent my branches.
Lots of little lines. Oh my goodness. They're going double lineage. Yeah, double lineage. If you're not done yet, that's fine. Just hurry up. <laughs> you're doing two, they're doing one. Yeah, they should be finished, I would think, by now, buddy. I think so. I think so. If not, you can still you can hit pause, you can rewind, you can do all that good stuff. So don't worry about it. So still with that little brush in black, let's go ahead and add a few little accents into our branches. These are a little quicker. They're nice and random. We're not outlining a branch or anything. It's just a few quick little accents of black. Make those branches stand out a bit more. I got that one done before you guys did. <laughs> Are you racing our audience? Right I now? was. I was just racing them. I, had to, I took my time with the lines and then speed around the branches. <laughs> oh, that's what we should do tonight. We should do like a speed painting. Cool. I'll talk really quick. We'll have it done in 20 minutes. What do you think? <laughs> art battle. Just that art art battle. battle style. Yes. Yeah, 20 minutes. Ah. I like it. That gets me thinking. I have ideas now. Hmm. Len and I will have to uh, have to chat about this afterwards. Ideas are flowing. Never good when you have ideas. I know. I know. <laughs> Wait, I'll just I'll get I'll tell Jeff my ideas and I'll get him to send them to you. Oh, that's not gonna work either. But oh. okay. What about Bernadette? Bernadette yeah, has a good idea. Yeah, she's got some pull. All right, all right. Bernadette, be on my side this time. There we go. Little accents of black through our branches. Very good, very good. We're getting there, we're getting there. We just gotta finish off these birds. And the birds are gonna be done with our small brush and black. Now I'm gonna outline some areas because I, I think you guys are still working on those branches, maybe not. But I'm just going to outline some areas on the bird that we're going to paint in black. If you feel more comfortable, you can use your pencil for this. You can just give me a second here. Use your pencil and then paint it.
do the outline up with it, do the other ones. That's gonna be his wing. And we might have to tweak the shape of that a little bit, but we're gonna paint it in first. Then I always like to stand back, take a look. Cause I'm kind of painting it on the side. So I wanna make sure that we get it, get it right. And he's got the little cap, which we're gonna paint this in black and this in black. I'll outline him and I'll fully paint in the canvas once and then you guys can see him. We have one more trivia for them, do you think? Yeah, there's we're, we're another question. I'm close just... to done, so one more ought to be good. All right, one moment here, one moment here. What do I got here? I thought I had one. Yes, okay. So, people are in the car. 8% of people, which isn't a huge amount of people, but anyway, interestingly enough, 8% of people said when they argue in the car, it is about this. Hmm. That's a good one. Seems to be on a car roll here. Have a guess for this one, David? Uh, why don't you repeat the question? 8% of people argue about this when they're in the car most commonly, they say. Mm. The exact writing and the wording of the trivia question. When asked what they argue about most in the car, 8% of people said this. Eight percent. That's not a lot. That's not a big percentage. That's not a big percentage. What about it? Hmm. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I don't know. Maybe where to eat? Hmm. Oh, eight percent is not a big percent.
these top ones I'm just filling in right now. And I'm gonna stand back, take a look. We can tweak the shape of it. Small amounts at a time. So what is the answer? The temperature. Ah, the temperature. Very good about the temperature. I would have thought the percentage would have been higher. Yeah. That's like my thoughts. Since we're asking car ones, I'm gonna ask one now. Okay. And it's one of my favorites. So if you've been to one of my events before, you may know the answer. But there is a 98% chance that every single one of us has at least one of these in our car right now. Steering wheel. The hint, <laughs> steering wheel. Well, yeah, 98%. Only 98% have a steering wheel. 2% yeah, are just driving around willy-nilly. There you go. <laughs> it has nothing to do with your car, Okay. is All the right. hint. So it's not a steering wheel, it's not a seat belt, it's, it's not a manual, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Nothing to do with the car itself. Yeah. So there's a 98% chance that we all have at least one of these in our car. I'm gonna guess a pair of sunglasses. It's don't don't give it away. No, I'm not gonna give it away. You gotta give them a little bit of a chance to. Ninety-eight percent of people. God, I hope it's not air freshener. I have never had one of those. <laughs> an air freshener. Well, an air freshener has to do with the car, right? I suppose, yeah. But so. French fries right down the middle of the seat there where you can't get the full. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Drives all the animals nuts when they get in the car and they can smell it and you don't know what the heck they're doing. They can't reach it. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, they tear apart the car trying to get it. So paint in those black pieces of your bird, the wings and the head and the beak. And then like I said, Stand back, lean back, whatever you gotta do to get a little distance to make sure that they're the shape that you want them. And you can tweak that shape of black. Ice scraper has to do with the car. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sticking with my sunglasses comment. You're sticking with sunglasses? Yeah, I'm going with sunglasses. Alright. 98%. Yeah. I got, I think, three or four pairs of mine. Just the cheap ones. I've also got three or four pairs of your sunglasses in my car. Yeah, so maybe, the, maybe it's higher than 98%. Well, yeah, pretty All high. of my sunglasses I just steal off a of lens. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Your story. It is. <laughs> All right, let me just make sure these are straight. Yeah, they're pretty good. Every bird's a different size. So you're gonna clean out that little tiny brush and dry it off. You guys should be done that part because I had to do two of them. If not, you can hit pause. But with a clean little tiny brush, we're gonna take a little bit of white. And we're gonna add just a couple little accents of white into their wings. 
nice and light, little bits. It's okay if your black is still a little bit wet, mine is. It's just a couple little streaks. We're not looking to fill anything in. We're just looking for little highlights, so I'm not brushing in the same spot too many times. Just a couple quick ones and move on. All right, what's the answer? The answer, there is a 98% chance we all have at least one of these in our car. It is French fries. It was French fries, oh my goodness. There is a 98% chance we have at least 98%? one. 98%? Yes. That's insane. I don't know where that stat came from. I'm calling BS. <laughs> Seems really high. It was on the interwebs. Oh, if it's on the internet, it's gotta be true though. Yeah, if it's on the interweb, it's gotta be true. I think Abraham Lincoln said that, so. <laughs> Maybe, we, maybe we're not the right people to be doing trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just trust Google. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, they seem to be enjoying it. I don't think anybody's fact checking us. <laughs> french fry, I like it. Probably because I like french fries. Oh, gotta love the french fry. So we have the little white accents in those wings, nice and quick ones. They all look a little different. We're going to put in their eyes. It's just one eye, one little dot, done with the back end of your small brush. Pick up paint, put a dot. That's it for the eye. Just the back side of your small brush, pick up the paint, put it down. And then when you are done with that, you have to do the most important step of any painting, which Ranger Damon says is. You're Ranger Danger, you're Ranger Damon. You're oh, that's right. Sign it. Sign it! I'm sorry. I'm you gotta sign it. You, you gotta, gotta sign it. Your own little signature there. Is sign, it. sign it. Sign it however you like. Your bottom corner, little name, little signature, whatever you want. Now remember, only you can stop the spread of COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> and forest fires. And forest fires. <laughs> All right. I am sure everybody's hopefully looks something like that. Wow, those look great. I hope yours looks great. Um, Thanks, David, for uh, showing us all how to do that. And uh, I would like to uh, thank everybody for watching. Obviously, hope you're having a great evening and um, staying safe, staying indoors. And uh, hopefully, if that's the case, everybody's doing that. We'll be out of this situation very soon and seeing people in the flesh and live uh, sooner than, than later, hopefully. Um, I would, uh, yeah, we are still, as I said at the beginning of the program, <laughs> during the whole uh, time here I've been putting together packages uh, for folks that are, have ordered supplies we still have lots um, if you need anything at all and um, we're actually like I said delivering in uh, Charlottetown right now people are taking advantage of that which is fantastic um, other than that hope you guys have a great night and we'll uh, we'll see you next time